In this video, I am going to discuss about two logical equivalences and prove their validity with truth tables. Two compound proposition is logically equivalent when they give same truth value. It means that if we apply a biconditional rule to them, we get a tautology. If you don't know about logical equivalences, then you must watch my previous videos. The link is given in the description. The first logical equivalence is absorption law, which is P or P and Q is equivalent to P. P and P or Q is equivalent to P. The second logical equivalence is negation laws, which is P or not P is equivalent to true. P and not P is equivalent to false. First, we create truth table for absorption loss. There are two variables. Therefore, you will have 2 raised to 2 equals 4 rows in the truth table. Let's create the table. So, I'll pause here for a moment. The columns are P, Q, P or Q, E and Q, E or P and Q and finally P and P or Q. First, you must enter values for P, Q columns. The P column is T, T, F, F and Q column is T, F, T, F. The other columns must be evaluated based on compound prepositions they have and they are either disjunction or conjunction. The disjunction or conjunction is otherwise known as or logic or and logic. If you want to learn about logical connectives, the link is given in the description again. Let's evaluate the P or Q column. For this, we must look at the P and Q columns. P is true and Q is true. So, true. P is true and Q is true. So, true again. P is false, but Q is true, therefore T and finally last column is false because both P and Q is false. Similarly, evaluate P and Q column. Put false value for P and Q if we have a false in P or Q column. So T, F, F, F. Next column is P or P and Q column. For this column, you need to apply the disjunction between column P and P and Q column. If any one of these column is true, then P or P and Q column is true. Enter true values T, T, F, F. The column P and P or Q must be uh, evaluated in the same way, but here we are using conjunction instead of disjunction. And if both P a column and P or Q column is true, then enter true, else enter false. P is true, P or Q is true, so enter T. Enter true again. P is false in the next row. Enter F. P is false. P or Q is false. Therefore, enter false in the last row of the column. P and P or Q. If you compare the column P or P and Q, it matches with the column P, which implies that the first logical equivalence of absorption law is valid. Similarly, column P is equivalent to column P and P or Q, meaning second equivalence of absorption law is also valid. Therefore, we proved with truth table that the absorption law is a valid logical equivalence. The second logical equivalence we want to prove is negation laws. We have to create a truth table for negation laws. 
there is only one variable p and its negation but we cannot take negation as second variable so 2 raised to 1 equals 2 the number of rows in the truth table is 2 the columns are p not p true false p or not p and p and not p the true here is a truth value similarly false is also a truth value we could say that they represent any universal true statements or a universal false statement but we have not mentioned anything here so let it be some truth value like t or f for the sake of this equivalence they don't mean anything unless we explain it further the only possible truth value for p column is true and false so enter t f the not p column has truth value opposite of p column so f t and true column is all true false column is all false value p or not p column has a disjunction meaning if p is true not p is false compound preposition p or not p is true if p is false not p is true and the compound preposition is true again same goes for p and not p column which has a conjunction and unless p and not p both are true the compound preposition p and not p is always false the truth table shows that p or not p is always true which means it is a tautology and the column matches with the true column. Similarly, the column P and not P is always false, which means it is a contradiction. The column matches with the false column. Therefore, we can say that the negation law are valid logical equivalences.